Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Today, we're actually gonna be giving away a free ticket to the Legacy Grand Open. More on that later. But first, we got a little bit of bad news and good news. Let's get into it. What do we got here? So we had three mangrove eggs, and then unfortunately, we did lose one, and then we have one that's still in the egg. Okay, that is so sad. Look at one of them did die. Now, is this his egg right there? Yes. Oh my goodness. Why does this happen? It's so sad. So they were pretty late in the season oh, and they wow. usually take okay. a while to hatch. Um, yeah. Their eggshells are also super leathery. Babies that are born late in the season or laid late in the season, they don't typically do so high. And also it probably struggled getting out of the egg. It expelled a lot of energy. Maybe it was too much, too hard of a fight to get out of the egg. You know, this happens in nature and stuff. That's why you snakes lay so many eggs. They're not all going to make it. That just happens. But what we're going to do is since we got one little guy right there that he made it and his brother sisters in this other egg we're actually gonna cut it open and help the other guy get out so that we don't have another fatality like we did right here so are you gonna do it yeah let's do it all right little guy you ready to see your sibling yeah maria's gotta be a little bit careful here they are a rear fang venomous snake mild venom typically harmless may get a little bit of swelling if you do have a, a reaction though we should be all right though as she's cutting it open very small eggs and there's not much wiggle room like a ball python egg where you can kind of pinch it but we're just trying to give them a little bit extra help now this is completely safe to do as you can tell the other eggs are already hatching they're ready to come out this is this is not harming them at all we're not going to scoop them out nothing like that giving them a little bit of help again this is in captivity not the wild we're not interfering with anything we're just helping survival rates out let's see what we got in here yes he's and, still alive and he's still alive still moving and pretty much our job here is done he'll find that opening he'll wiggle out when he's ready we're just gonna place him back and leave them like that. Good news, bad news. Good news is, is it looks like we have two alive mangrove snakes. What locality are these ones? Boega Melanota. Melanota? Reminds me of the video we filmed with Kevin when you took over dad's position. I didn't sell him the snakes. Mike sold all the Melanota to, to Kevin over at Nerds. So nature doesn't waste anything and we're not gonna either feel bad even showing you this. This is, it's kind of brutal, but we're actually gonna clean it off and we're gonna feed it to one of our animals here. Maybe son of Sam, maybe Freya. What do you think, Mike? We can try both. Let's try both. Dude, look Look at how cute he is. I love their big goofy heads and those big black eyes. Big bulgy eyes. Oh my God, they're so little. And then they grow up to be like, what, uh, what do we name uh, Venom? I think Venom is the mangrove we have here. Is he nice? Venom, his oh. name is Venom. So here we are. We got the baby mangrove snake here. Again, nothing goes away. Now would he be, an, oh, <laughs> he gets me every time. Oh, look it. He's getting it. It's like a giant spaghetti noodle. Now, would he be an opportunistic eater like this in the wild, Mike? Oh, absolutely. These guys are gonna hang out right by the edge of the water, just like everything else in Africa. Camouflage himself as water buffalo poop. But that means Ooh. anything that comes by, whether it's a fly, whether it's a cockroach, whether it's a small snake, venomous, non-venomous, if it's another frog, if it's a baby turtle, anything that these guys can bite onto, they're gonna try to swallow it. Wow. Back to this free ticket. Jeff, you are the man that we need to speak to. I heard that you had a ticket to the legacy that you wanted to give away. What a nice guy. How did you get that? I remember back when they had the autograph with all you guys in it and you got, you know, I built the legacy aquarium. Yes, yes. That's what it's from. Okay. I'm just trying to do my part to, to donate Sounds and good. I know I'm going to be here and I felt yeah. like somebody else deserves this. Just going to be here regardless. You know, we helped build so much here at the legacy, so he's not going to need a ticket. So might as well give that away. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide this Plushie. Get a good look at it. We're in the background of the video. It's gonna be hidden. We're not gonna let anybody know about it. Drop a timestamp if you notice it. And the first person we see comment, we'll reach out to. And if you qualify for the free ticket, you will be the winner. Kevin, it's good to see you working, man. <laughs> Using his little fingers in his hands to just shove that into his mouth right there. This will vary up the diet a little bit, huh? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We mainly feed this guy bugs, so he's eating a lot of roaches and he's eating a lot of, like, worms. But occasionally we'll do, like, the rodent, yeah. or the one time we've done the quail for him, which is yeah. very crazy to see him eat a little bird. Yeah. And this is his first snake that he's eaten. But again, they would 100% take this opportunity oh, yeah. to eat that in the wild. And so it is a sad thing, right? snake dies it's it's a bummer but if you've seen the movie inside out moments in life can be both sad exciting multiple motions can exist so as much as a snake dying is extremely sad look how cool it is to see this bullfrog actually enjoy this meal and it not go to the waste so it's interesting the dichotomy between the extremes of these emotions that we're experiencing 
and look at him. He's got those cool little teeth right there. He looks pretty happy too, so. He does, he does. You know, I just watched that movie for the first time the other day. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful frog we have here as well. And to think that he is already the size of my hand, but he's gonna grow to the size of a dinner plate. Doesn't really make much sense. Excited to see him grow up. Yeah, it is a sad thing about this snake. I mean, obviously we all love snakes too, but like, this is nature at its finest. Whoa. You know, oh, I'm kind of want spaghetti now. Mike, that's not the right time. One Look last it. bite. <laughs> I'm definitely having spaghetti. One right last one. He's got a little snake tongue. <laughs> that's so crazy. I just eats everything so quick. I know. Where did it even go? Oh, there it goes. And just like that. Drop a comment down below if you love Sun and Sam as much as us. As much as that sucked, it's also really cool. Uh, and you guys have seen, for the last couple of days, Felipe and his team have been back here. Oh, sadly had to take apart all the corals. Well, this is probably a very expensive piece of coral, so I'm gonna put that back, shove it in there. Okay, you're good. But as you can see, they're actually, well, it's actually the same right now. But the saltwater predator, let's go take a look. So they already reapplied the silicone. Now, if everything goes smooth, Felipe and his crew should be done and gone tomorrow. So they'll leave tomorrow or the next day and they'll come back in a couple of weeks because there's no way we're bringing Ahmed back to theme out the stuff until these tanks are not leaking whatsoever. Again, we're on the up and up. Things are good. Looks like they silicone that as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Things are getting done around here. It's, 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 again, some good things, some bad things. I'm happy to announce some good news here. Floors are looking great. They're getting polished. They're getting smooth. Dad would be so excited. He hated how dusty the floors were. He was always talking about, these floors are dusty. I hate it so much. So now that this is all getting cleared out, it's great. We're excited. We're getting there. We're close. So yes, we don't have any extremely venomous snakes. We have only a few mildly venomous snakes. And you're maybe looking at a king snake and going, mildly venomous? King snakes aren't mildly venomous. And you would be correct. But what they do have is there's a reason why they're named the king. They'll eat anything, even copperheads and rattlesnakes. Through the generations of their bloodline, they've actually developed immunity to certain venoms, highly resistant to rattlesnake venoms. So how cool is that? A king snake, nothing extraordinary about them except for their defense mechanism that they develop. Literally will be running around, run into a copperhead, battle it, and actually win. How cool is that? The greatest story of an underdog ever told. To think that Ben and Jerry could take down two rattlesnakes at once. That's pretty freaking awesome. Come with me and let's see what Jeff actually has got going on today because I'm not even too sure yet. I'm cutting wood. To build more boxes? That doesn't seem like a really good use of your time. Oh, you know. Oh, nice. A hoe? That's, that? not, that's not nice to call the box. No, I was talking about this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're, you're cutting wood for what? We are starting to cut the wood for all the tank stands. The tank stands? Which ones? Like all of them. Got any cut yet? No, I'm about ready to make my first cut now. Let's take a look at that. You want me to hold this? Yes, please. First cut. <laughs> Now why is that? Because our tanks are going to stand on here and we don't want to put the acrylic stands right on top of the metal. If there's any bit of metal sticking up, you know, when they were welding, you get those little beads. Imperfections and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That'll like start puncturing the, puncturing the acrylic. The yeah, so sag in between the, the gaps. Yep, exactly. So and one thing we want to make sure is, yeah, when Steve lined me up on this, you don't want it completely flush. You want it back a little bit because when they put their facing on here, you don't need this sticking out, causing problems for Looks them. Looks good. So, so that's the first one of many. How many more to go? 100. A lot. <laughs> Pulse water cobra. This guy. Super food motivated. Let me get this water dish out of the way. Look at him. He's kind of hooding up a little bit. I'm going to try not to mess them too much. And as the name false water cobra implies, does have a slight venom to him. He is mildly venomous. And what that venom would do to you if he really chewed on you in those back things, might have some localized swelling, some irritation and such. But here's the deal. It could still cause a problem if you are allergic and you go into anaphylactic shock. Just because it's mild venom, it's still real. It's still something to be careful about. It's nothing to pretend like it doesn't exist. Pretty cool, we're able to kind of mess with a few mildly venomous things here. Bandit here is one of our favorites here at the Reptarium. As you saw, he has that hooding effect where he will literally spread his neck out as if he is a cobra false water cobra because he's actually he's faking me out a little bit he's faking me out he's not he's not a real cobra he's actually just a little water snake but with a name like false water cobra you could probably guess without my help that he's got venom 
but something that may trick you up would be the hog nose. But that's debatable because look it, it kind of does look like a rattlesnake now, doesn't it? Let's let's take them over here. Look at this. One of our fake rattlesnakes over here. Now it's amazing how nature does that, right? The hog nose is not as venomous as the rattlesnake, but it took its pattern and kind of like replicated it, right, Mike? Yeah, a rattlesnake. Why are you holding the rattlesnake? Because I'm a dangerous man. And what you're describing is actually called mimicry, which is a non-venomous or a smaller species of snake pretending to be a larger snake or a venomous snake. And animals do it all the time, whether it's a bullfrog sounding like a big bear or these guys <laughs> rattling their tail or even flattening their neck like a cobra right or play dead the hog nose is interesting because not only does it have a little bit of that mild venom to subdue his prey a bit and it could again some localized swelling yeah it could have a reaction that's pretty severe but it has so many of those defense mechanisms those mimicries mimicking being dead that's also a mimicry it's it's very very interesting the hog nose i feel like he really upgraded his defense stats mm -hmm. he, you know what i mean yeah. he went heavy on the defense Most of them have like two or three this guy's got like four that's superstar mode right there no i don't know if you knew this too but surprisingly there's been a lot of research done on garter snakes as well which is a very common snake that a lot of people mess with they also are being brought up as a rear fang venomous snake oh. because they also eat very similar things frogs right. toads fish they're starting to do more research about finding more about their venom right. but if you do get bit by a or a uh, garter snake and it chews on you a little bit you do get a little bit of localized swelling and stuff as well so it's very interesting to think that is very interesting you might not suspect, might have a little bit of venom. So be careful, be smart. The shark tank, the beloved shark tank that we've all been waiting for. The reason why the floors had had to be grinded and it's been so loud in here, we actually haven't really been able to film much in here. Alex is actually coming back next week, bringing all the acrylic, which is starting to be seamed. As we mentioned, the floor had to be dustless, no particles, none like that, so the seam actually stays waterproof tight. It's extremely exciting. Shark Tank video coming soon. It's wonderful. Things are progressing fast here. Going on the up and up, things are getting fixed. Everything is working out. It is beautiful. Speaking about. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.